Florida's Education Commissioner attempted to ease parent and student frustrations over this year's FCAT scores. Over the weekend, State Senator Gary Siplin called an emergency meeting at Evans High School in Orlando. Concerned parents and students were able to express their issues on the standardized test. We didn't change the rules in the fourth quarter. What we did is decided in the fourth quarter what we were going to use to keep schools accountable. Florida Education Commissioner Gerard Robinson explained to parents that though writing grades were poor, the actual level of writing was higher than last year and agreed the communication about the new FCAT standards could have been better. So here's how the results stacked up. 73% of students failed the writing test because new standards cracked down on spelling and grammar usage. That is until state educators lowered the passing grade. That allowed roughly 80% of students to pass. 52% of ninth graders failed the reading portion. 50% of 10th graders also failed. In vote